You turn on the TV and you see a commercial about a new amazing diet that promises to help you lose up to 20 pounds in one month. You see similar ads in magazines, Facebook, at the market, and even on YouTube. These ads exist virtually everywhere. But how are there so many different companies with different diets that can all help you lose weight? It's very simple. With all the talk about what type of food to eat, how many servings per day, and even added supplements, none of these matter more than the management of the magical number of calories. But what is it about calories that we need to know to understand how these diets work? For one, calories can be used as a direct measurement of how much food we take in and how much weight we gain or lose. Every 3,500 calories is equal to one pound of body weight. Scientifically, calories are used as a measurement of energy or heat. It takes one calorie of energy in order to raise the temperature of one kilogram of water by one degree Celsius. When people say they are burning calories from exercise, essentially the body is releasing heat created by the energy from calories. In order to generate weight loss results, dieting companies need to put their clients into a caloric deficit. The amount of calories the client consumes on a daily basis needs to be less than the amount of calories the client burns on a daily basis. On average, an adult male burns about 2,500 calories per day. An adult female burns about 1,800 calories per day. Any diet that restricts the amount of calories under these averages would typically see weight loss results. This allows for diet fats to offer up any type of food to be consumed, including fatty desserts and processed food, as long as the client remains at their deficit. But why follow someone else's diet when you can create your own by simply finding out how many calories you consume daily? A simple way of calculating the amount of calories is by running an experiment on yourself. For one week, record the amount of calories you eat each day and weigh yourself at the beginning of the week and at the end. If you gained weight, you know you're eating at a surplus, meaning you're taking in more calories than you burn. If you lose weight, you know you're eating at a deficit, meaning you're taking in fewer calories than you burn. If your weight didn't change at all, you are at an energy balance, meaning you ate as many calories as you burned. Take this for example, Sam was 150 pounds at the beginning of the week. He ate on average 2,000 calories each day. At the end of the week, Sam weighed only 149 pounds. We know that 3,500 calories is equal to 1 pound, meaning that Sam burned 3,500 calories more than he consumed. Divide that by 7 days and that equals to a 500 daily caloric deficit. Try the experiment yourself. Make sure to record each and every food or drink you consume that has calories. At the end of the week, you'll be able to fine tune your diet and meet your weight goals. Just as a precaution, the recommended amount of weight change, gain or lose, should not exceed 2 pounds per week unless cleared by a physician. With this information, does it mean you should eat nothing but junk food until you reach your calorie limit? Probably not. There are other factors to look into, such as macronutrients, vitamins, and minerals, but the largest underlying factor is calories. Give the experiment a shot. Were you able to figure out your daily calorie expenditure? If you enjoyed watching, please click the like button. And for more future picture vid videos, don't forget to subscribe.